Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my battle of the boxes. So I have my BoxyCharm base box which is $25 a month and my Ipsy Plus which is also $25 a month. Each are supposed to have five full-size products in them. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with my BoxyCharm because this is one that's going to be a surprise to me because I just got it in the mail today. So I'm so excited. There's been a lot of variations that I've seen. I think my box weighed 1.4. If I can get it open. So there you have it. There's the card. Shows everything you got. I got variation 33, variation 33. So the first thing here is the 111 skin. This is a uh, daytime booster to fortify your skin against harmful aggressors of the digital age. This unique booster shields the skin against physical and blue light pollution through a powerful combination of peptides and antioxidants. It retails for $135. Now, 111 Skin, we also have gotten in, um, you could have gotten it in Ipsy before and it's very, very expensive. So this is what it looks like. So, and it has the dropper here. It's a thick-ish formula, it seems like. Like it's not too thick, but it's also not runny like some. It doesn't smell like anything really. So I will give that a try. The next thing we have is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray. Now a couple months back we did get the um, setting powder. I don't really care for it. It leaves a white cast on some people. Ooh. There. Okay. The coconut smell isn't too bad. And for me at least, I am sensitive to smells, so that's good. And this retails for $22. Set and refresh your makeup with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Setting Spray infused with coconut. This luminous ultrafine mist holds makeup while micro pearls add a delicate glow over the skin. The delicate coconut scent and healthy glow takes you straight back to the beach. Okay, so then we have the Pure Cosmetics Festival palette. This is the 2.0. I think we got the first, some people got the first palette like last year. So let's see, there's 12 piece pressed pigment palette. So, ooh. Here's what it looks like. You have your neutrals here and then you have your pops of colors here. I mean, it, I don't know. Some people say it doesn't really scream festival vibes, but I also get sort of some festival vibes from it. This will be a palette I will be trying. So this is, this retails for $36. Fully loaded with striking light reflective formulas, cruelty-free pigments can complete with matte and transition shades. So yeah, it's got that reflective light packaging on it that's cute so the next thing is grace and stella anti-wrinkle energizing eye masks you get 12 it's like an energy drink for your eyes i don't really have experience with eye masks so i will give this a try once i open it
So these retail for $21. Okay, so they come individually like this. This is what they look like. So that's nice. I've never tried eye patches before, so I will definitely give it a try. And then this last one we have is a color switch, which a lot of people aren't happy about getting because you can get them at the Dollar Tree or just use the foam that comes in the box. But I, I have one already. I like mine. Mine's from the Frida collection from Ulta. So, I mean, so far, so good. I will use everything in this box, which uh, hasn't been that situation for quite a few boxes. So I'm happy about BoxyCharm. Now for Ipsy. So I'm going to start with my add-ons because that's what I'm most excited for. If um, So let's start with the big thing. This is Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Rustic Glam. I think this was $18 in add-ons. And they even had the um, Jackie Ina palette with ADH in the add-ons for $25. And you got a lipstick too. But I didn't get that one. I got this one instead. So I'm really excited to try this out. It looks good, but it also has your pops of colors as well. And it's so heavy. The only um, Dominique Cosmetics product I have that's a palette is the Celestial Thunder, which we got in like November from BoxyCharm, which is a smaller version of her Celestial Storm. So I also really want to get the Latte 2 palette, so I might be adding that one to my collection. But I really like the color story of this because you have your nudes, you have your everydays, and then you have your colors and stuff that you can switch it up with. So next in my add-ons, I got this brush. I got this. This is the SL Miss Glam Precise Eye E25. I do not have any of her brushes. I know that they're frequently in um, Ipsy boxes, so I'm excited to finally have one. And I also got this brush from Luxie. Luxie brushes are one of my favorite brushes because they're so beginner friendly. This is a 205 pack and shade. It has this dip in it and it's like a soft matte, which is really, really cool. Different from the ones that I got from BoxyCharm. So I'm really excited to try this one. I love brushes because and here is my last add-on which is a pixie i'm pretty sure this is a lip gloss um it's in the shade sheer rose let's see if i can try to open it i only have an eyeshadow from pixie yep this is a lip gloss and so it has that minty smell unless it's just my hands but there's a swatch of it it's not very sheer in my opinion anyways so those are my add-ons now let's actually get into what i have in the box the theme for this month is what take a break maybe yeah and once again with Ipsy, no descriptions of what I got and price points for everything. So that's disappointing. I wish that they would put the prices in there because it helps me also total up the boxes and see which one's value is higher, which I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the boxy charm because of this hefty expensive guy right here. So let's start with this. This was my choice. This is the 
complex culture contour and blush brush it looks like this it's very soft and you can contour it and use it like this and stuff if you just want to use the smaller side you can if you just want to use the fluffier side you can so there is that I'm excited to give this a try because Madison Miller raves about these brushes when she got them she says that they're really nice so I'm excited to try them and then skincare this is the awake glow pill super serum so since I don't have any description I don't really know what it's supposed to do so on the box it says it's a skin hydrating vitamin by skin hydrating vitamins in a serum skin appears more balanced hydrated and smooth um, has a pH of 5.3 a super blend of vitamin b3 b5 and antioxidant benefits you can use in the am and the pm so there's that and i put when i i checked my box just to make sure that i had my add-ons because i wanted to make sure i had my palette this was completely out of the box out of its box and the box was just laying here it was laying there so it was kind of weird Ooh, okay so it's a pump Ooh, it feels cooling on my hand already it's thin so you don't need a whole lot and again it doesn't smell like much so that's good it's almost foaming up in my hand because <laughs> I'm trying to steer clear of stuff with fragrance in it because and that's awesome that they're giving you fra almost fragrance free stuff in subscription boxes so let's go with this item this is the watermelon burst hydrating primer by Ciate London and I'm gonna rip the box so here's what the primer looks like I know that people have gotten this before um, I'm not sure if it's in a in a boxy charm or an ipsy but see we you do see Ciate London stuff in boxes quite often I mean I just got one in boxy charm and now I'm getting another one in ipsy so this smells sweet I wouldn't necessarily say watermelony but maybe so there's that um, next is this eyeshadow in Color Boss, I'm guessing, by Il Maquillage. This is kind of neat packaging to me. I don't own anything by Il Maquillage. Uh, Newsflash, it says, $9.59. I don't know. It's kind of neat packaging for me. It's unique. I've never seen packaging like that. And also, there we go. Now, I know some people were upset about getting a single eyeshadow in whoa look at that pigment I barely put my finger and rubbed it around in there wow that is pretty I don't know I'm terrible at swatches here oh my god and it like completely came off except for a little bit let's try that again so you can see it better that one was terrible I'm trying to get better at swatches, but I ran over it twice because I didn't like the way the first one looked. I'm trying to be get better at swatches, guys. I'm horrible at it, but I like the shade. It's a nice, easy, wearable shade for me with like a hint of color pop in there. With a pop of color in there, almost, because it's almost like reflecting pinkish. But I like it. I will definitely use it. And last but not least is an Ofra highlighter. 
now. This is, I'm just gonna rip it. This is glazed donut. This is uh, Ofra times Nikki, Nick, Nikki tutorials. I'm sorry, I butchered that. And everybody raves about these highlighters. So I was hoping to get one. I got one last month in the shade Soho, but I haven't tried it yet. But So I'm very excited to give this one a try. And this is what the plus bag looks like. Mine was a little damaged. So there you go. Has this little airplane on it. And this color blue is like my favorite color, guys. So there you have it. That was everything in both boxes that I received. So now, as you can tell, my face is bare. I am going to try everything on and my hair is kind of wet because I took a shower this morning so there it is. all right I don't have any pins so I am just going to put this little guy on I usually use this to do my makeup because as you can see it's kind of dirty a bit so I haven't done any of these. I've never done like get ready with me. So this is going to kind of go by. I'm not gonna use any of the skincare cause I already prepped my skin. So the first thing we're gonna do is go in with the primer as soon as I get situated here. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do one pump of the primer and see where it gets me. and just rub that in really good now like I said I already prepped my skin so I have moisturizer serums not serums serum and sunscreen on cuz you can't forget the sunscreen everybody so that's on and for my foundation, well, actually, I'm gonna do my eyes first. So let's, uh, I think I'm gonna use my Rustic Glam because this is the one I'm most excited to use. I think I will use this Festival palette in another video. So you will see how that works out. So, let's just, which one do I want to use? Well, here, I'm using the crease brush from Moda. Some people got these in their boxy charms. Um, let me get the color switch out. I know my brushes are dirty, but tomorrow is brush cleaning day, so don't judge me. And this can be a reminder to clean your brushes, everybody. So let's just start with um, fringe, pretty sure it's this color. I'll put that in the crease. And I really don't know what kind of look I'm going for, so... Bear with me, and I'm sorry if the lighting is weird. I will get the hang of this stuff one day, everybody, but just don't judge me. I'm trying my best to actually be in frame and stuff, but also see what I'm doing because I am blind. Not like blind, blind, but blind. I'm just running the shade in the crease as you can tell just kind of messily and on the other side I'm doing the same thing so my fiance is at work and my daughter is 
with her grandparents today. She's actually visiting her great grandparents. She doesn't see them very often. She will be two in September and I'm kind of just like, yeah, okay. All right, so let's take the blending brush that I got, the pack and shade blush brush from Luxie and I'm gonna take this darker shade suede I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna kind of oh my goodness <sighs> okay <sighs> I think I went in a little too hard with my brush I'm just gonna tap that in the outer corner to give it a little dimension Just to give it a little dimension here. So, like I was saying, I actually have time to record videos today. So, I'm kind of pre-recording. If you want to say that. I'm also kind of bringing it into the crease. But keeping it trying to, anyways. There. I turned on my light. So, maybe that will help. They're not, the batteries are dying in my mirror, so it's kind of packing it a little more in that outer corner. I mean, if anybody has any tips and tricks on how to record yourself and do eyeshadow, I mean, let me know in the comments. I'm always here for um, critiquing, but don't be rude in the comments because Nobody likes rude people. And again, just tapping and blending it. Because, you know, this is my first time trying to do this. So, I mean, just give me pointers, tips and tricks. And yeah, just don't be rude. So, as I was saying, you know, I have time to record and stuff. So I think I'm going to record a few more episodes, or episodes, oh my god, a few more videos. I think I'm going to take Desert Queen with that SL Miss Glam, which Desert Queen is this one. I'm going to put that on this brush. <laughs> Tap off the excess, and I'm just going to kind of put it right here kind of blend everything together with it <sighs> these shadows are so beautiful like oh. and I know that this isn't a new palette everybody probably knows you know Dominique Cosmetics has good eyeshadows but for me this is like a first impressions with her eyeshadows because I really haven't even touched the one we got in BoxyCharm back in November because it intimidates me a bit because it is um, very colorful. So, yeah. And I'm just kind of blending everything together with the same brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And oh, what was I gonna say? Oh. Um, how's everybody's summer going? Even though we can't really do a whole lot, like because of the C word. <laughs> All right, and then on my finger, I'm gonna take Bohemian. It's this nice light brownish shade shimmer shade and I'm just gonna take that on my finger here and just press it on my eyelid here a little more what do you guys think I'm just kind of focusing it like almost on the inner corner part so you can still see that 
uh, peachy shade that I put down. Because I think uh, Desert Queen is like sort of a peachy shade. At least on my eyes. These are so soft and buttery. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm so excited that... I'm so happy that I chose this as my add-on. Because her palettes are, what, $42? some dollars And I got it for $18. Which is awesome. So now I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of blend the shades together very softly. That way I don't lose shimmer pigment. Sometimes that can happen when you blend out shades, or at least for me it does happen. That's my dog. Do you hear stuff? So that is my eye look oh i guess where's that shade what did i do with it here it is so now going to because i forgot about it i'm going to take this shade and just ever so lightly pop it on my finger and just kind of press it on i know this isn't like the best But can you guys see it? It's really beautiful. And these two kind of mesh together fairly well. And yeah. I like that. All right, so eyes are done let's go on to you know what I think I'm just gonna do my um uh oh my god I'm gonna do my foundation concealer and my base stuff and we'll come back and see the highlight and the lip gloss and I'll use the setting spray as well so I'll see y'all in a minute all right so my base is on my foundation, uh, concealer, powder. I put mascara and eyeliner on. I know the eyeliner isn't the best, but we're dealing with it. Um, I just use Project Pan items, my Wet n Wild powder, uh, CC creams now in my Project Pan. If you haven't seen that, please go watch it. Um, this isn't in my Project Pan, but this is the only concealer that really works for me right now. And then my Hank and Henry mascara and my Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. So now we're gonna try out this brush. I'm going to use my bronzer. This is a face powder, but from Physicians Formula, it's the healthy powder, but I use it to bronze. So just kinda tap on into it like so. Tap. And then I'm just gonna kind of Use this side and blend it out. So I am struggling to kind of use it because I've never used a brush like this before but it's a work in progress here but i think it's doing a good job so let's tap on the forehead and i'm going to use the same brush for my blush
rounds up the neck a bit. The nose with whatever's left. So there's that. And now for my blush, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Quirky. And I did hit pan in it, so I'm very excited about that. Just gonna tap into it. Swirl it around. Get some sort of pigment on it. Now this blush is losing its pigment along with my Tarte Party one. So I'm really trying to use it up. But I don't want to go too ham with this blush because then it kind of... I don't know. Doesn't look right on me, I guess. So, blush is on. Actually liking how this is turning out with that brush. So, now it's time for highlight. I love highlight. Let's take my highlight brush, clean it off a bit, and I am using the color switch. You just swirl your brush in it and it comes off. Almost dropped it. So I'm just kind of lightly dip into this highlight here, tap off, and swipe. Sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. I haven't ate much today. Wow, I think I put too much on. Wow. There is a reason why people love Oprah highlights and I'm just now seeing it. Get my nose. I might have to blend that out a bit. I think I put too much on that side. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and use it to kind of hit my brow bone and I know you're supposed to use a pencil brush but when I'm just highlighting like this I just use it to do my inner corners. It works out fine. I mean, I kind of stabbed my eye, but hey. So there you go. So now highlight is done and I'm just gonna take a wet sponge. This is a Real Techniques one. I know it's an odd shape. I found them at TJ Maxx. I do have a haul on them. Found them at TJ Maxx. They were on clearance for 70 cents. So I picked them up. Mm, just if you take a wet sponge, beauty blender, whatever you want to call them, on your highlight, it um, what is it like? Detensifies them? I don't know. I'm making up words. It tones them down. Is what I'm trying to say. But see, and it still looks beautiful. Like oh, oh my gosh. I love that. So now, where's that setting spray? Right here. I'm gonna see how this works, how I like it. Okay. The Mr be a little more fine I mean it still is okay it kind of left uh, there felt like it didn't get my face that much and what I like to do sometimes is take my sponge again after I sprayed setting spray and smoosh it in smoosh Smoosh it in. And there. Um, it's alright. The sprayer could be a little 
better. It did kind of leave a few drops right in here. I don't know if you saw, but there. And now for the lip gloss that I got in add-ons by Pixie. It does sheer out on the lips quite a bit. And it does have that minty, menthol-y smell to it. Making my lips tangle. So there you have it. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, well, what about brows? Well, I, I don't do brows on camera. I'm practicing. I'm trying. But here you go. Here is my look for today using all of the makeup that I got in BoxyCharm and Ipsy. So, go ahead and like this video if you like it this style. I will try to do more like get ready with me's and stuff where I show everything. Or... I'll still do like try-ons on this part. Bye everybody.